Hi. So, I know I said I was going to make a video on Tuesday, which was yesterday, I believe. Yeah. But, um, that ended up not happening. But it's okay, because now I have something to talk about today. So, um, it's story time. Uh, yesterday, me and my boyfriend, we were at our friend Dee's house. And, um, our other friend Jimbo was going to come over to meet us at Dee's house. But me and my boyfriend ended up having to go out to Brookhaven so that he could pick some money up. And then on the way back, we called Jimbo. Said, hey, we're coming back. Where are you guys? You know? And he was like, oh, little beach. Come to a little beach, nigga. So, at the little beach, we have, like, the big beach at the end of the highway. And then, like, if you go off to the side before you get to the end there's like a little beach it's like a uh, parking lot bathrooms playground and then like the beach in front so um so we get to the beach it's Jimbo our other friend JR and Justine I've only met her once before last night but I like her and some other Caitlin thing she, she was like 17 I don't I don't usually hang out with little kids um, because, like, how do I look being 21, hanging out with a 17-year-old? But, oh well, I couldn't tell her to leave or anything. But anyway, so, um, we get, we get to the little beach, we're all just hanging out, smoking, they're all drinking, me and, um, me and my boyfriend are just smoking with them, um, Somebody likes me. But, um... So, yeah, we're just smoking, hanging out, you know. And then this car pulls up. And they sit in the car for a little while. And then another car pulls up behind them. And because the parking lot was closed, this was like... 10, 11 o'clock at night. Closer to 11, I think. But, um, then another car pulls up. And it sits there for a minute. Then it leaves. And then the people get out of the car that came up and parked behind, um, JR's car, and they come up, they look, like, around the playground, like, to see us, they give, they give us a finger at it, at, for, like, no reason at all, then they go back to the car, then everyone gets out, there's, like, five of them, they come out, and they, I don't know, we were, like, yelling back and forth, because they're all drinking, we're all, like, high and everything, and, um, they had this little remote control, um, boat, and they wanted to, like, set it up and everything. It was, like, a little ship boat. They only, I think they said they paid, like, $20 for it or something. But, um, so they were going down to test it out and everything. And, um, so then they needed a knife or something to get the screwdriver, screwdrivers out. This screwdriver. You know what I mean. And, uh, they didn't have any, so I had to go to the car to get my boyfriend's knife and then give it to him. And then I give, I get over there and, and, um, I hand him the knife and everything. He was, he opens it up. He's like, oh shit, this is a weapon, whatever. And I was like, yeah, it's not mine. It's not mine. And, um, so my boyfriend comes over and hands me the joint. Excuse me. And hands me the joint and he's like, um... I don't know. He hands me a joint. And then the other guy who I gave the knife to, he was like, oh, it smells like marijuana. It smells like pot. And I was, and, um, we kind of just, like, laughed about it, you know? And then this guy that was holding the flashlight, I have something in my eye. What is, what the fuck? Oh, God. I want to rub my eyes so bad. It's going to take my eyeliner off. Oh, well. But, um... Where was I? Oh, yeah, so the guy holding the flashlight, he was like, um... I get distracted. Um, the guy holding the flashlight, he was like... Because the guy couldn't get the, um, the things out with the knife. So the guy holding the flashlight, he was like, oh, use your, um, special cop 
cop patting or something, like saying, "Oh, this guy's a cop," and um, I didn't really believe him though, because we we're all like seventeen, eighteen at the most. So um, so they started talking about like cops and whatnot and everything. I'm I'm just still standing there smoking the joint, and so then I go to give the joint to my friend Jimbo. Was it Jimbo? Yeah, go give it to Jimbo. And, um, eventually my boyfriend came back over with the knife. Eventually he came back over with the knife. And, um, then the other guy, he had to put the, the thing, like, back on. So we needed the knife again. So, Corey, like, opens up the knife and starts, and, like, holds it, like, Okay, I'll show you with this with the hat's on. Pretend like this part is the blade and this part is like the handle. He's holding it like this, like as if he's ready to like stab somebody, I guess. So the guy that's supposedly a cop, he starts backing up and starts like he's afraid of him because of the knife. Like I mean like I will admit my boyfriend does look a little um Intimidating, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he hasn't shaved in like a month and a half. Um, I, I like to call him a caveman, honestly. Um, so that's probably a big part of it. And plus, the knife is kind of big. Like the blade itself is probably like that, maybe. Maybe not that big. Maybe like this, I guess. I don't know. But either way, it's a knife. It's an illegal knife, so it's bigger than just the, um, whatever. So, um, so then I, I keep telling him, give, give me the knife. He'll take it from me. He'll take it from me, because I gave it to him before, and I'm not gonna walk up to him holding it like I'm ready to stab somebody. So, um, so I go, I close the knife, I go give it to him, and then they use the knife, whatever. They took, like, forever with it. And then, um, And then they put the, they just put the bolt back in the box, then they go back up to the car. And as they're walking up to the car, they're like, because they have to walk past JR's car to get the, to get to their own, because that's where the opening in the gate was. And, um, they're like, oh, is anything in this car that I should know about, like, kidding around? You know, I don't know if JR could hear everything that they were saying, because I was over by the swings. That's another story I have. Uh... Maybe I'll make it into a different video. I don't know. But, um... So, um... They were like, oh, is there anything else? Anything in the car I should know about? Whatever, whatever. Then they get in the car, they sit there for like two minutes. Then they get out again, go all the way, all the way around to the other side. Because we were on the park side, and then we had the building, and then the parking lot. <clears throat> so... They leave from the park, come all the way around to the outside, like to the street, and then they hop over the fence on the side of the parking lot, and then go down that side, which makes no sense. So, um, so then they go down to the water and everything, and they're still talking, like, about cops and whatnot, and, um, and that was it. I don't know. It was just kind of strange. I mean, like, they were funny. Like, we joked around with them, like, when they showed up and stuff, but, um... I know, it was just kind of strange. I don't know. Um, funny. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll put the spider story in, uh, the swing story in. There was a, um, there's two swings for, like, big kids, and I'm a big kid. And so, of course, I wanted to go on the swings. And then there's, like, the two of the, like, baby ones. So, um, Caitlin, I think her name, yeah, Caitlin, she was like, oh, look at that huge spider web, there's a huge, like, we like, these are the chains of the, um, the swing, there's a huge spider web, like, taking up the whole space, and not, like, all the way up and down, but, like, across, but taking up the whole space in the chains, so I go, ah, uh, fuck, I don't have a picture of it, I took it on my boyfriend's phone, but, um, so I go to look at it and it's like it's huge it's like this big and all like yellow with like spots and like disgusting 
its legs were like I don't even know like it was nasty so then um I took a picture of it and I showed it to all of them and then Jimbo he decides to get on the swings and I told him oh that spider is gonna jump on you and so then he goes over to the swings and just starts swinging like the spider is and he even said no it's then we all we all decided to leave Jimbo's on the um on the swing still and um I was like jump off jump off and he was like no I'm not gonna jump off I'm not gonna jump off and I was like yeah jump you'll be fine I was hoping that he would fall but I was like yeah jump you'll be fine so then he's like wait take a video of this take a video so then um I got my boyfriend's phone and I took a video and um he didn't fall I was hoping he would but he didn't somehow because like he's he is a big guy like he's big um so I thought that he would like land on his feet and then like stumble and then like roll around on the floor pretty much and um no it didn't happen but um yeah that's my story um I hope you liked it I guess um after we left the park we just went home or well we went to my boyfriend's house and we walked around the 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 block and we smoked a joint and then he took me home and then and that was it I stayed up until like four o'clock in the morning because I can never get to sleep but um that's it I hope you liked my video bye